Why hello everyone and a welcome back to the Nullius mod. This is a Taku showboat and I have a personal train at this point in time. Uh, I have ditched the car in favor of using a train with a couple of wagons attached to it at this point. It is slow, slower than the car, but there's so many active trains on my rail grid at this point that uh, it's a bit too dangerous to be riding around in the car uh, everywhere, especially if I'm going to existent places within my base. The car is fine when going out and trying to reveal more resources, explore and all that going away from my rail grid. But if I'm going anywhere near my rail grid, I may as well just use this train. It's much, much safer that way. Now, I have expanded more between episodes uh, of the rails in particular and more power. I uh, I have 19,000 some odd amounts of stuff now. Yeah, just uh, just a few more solar panels were added into the mix because I like solar panels. I will I will use uh, infinite supplies of my solar panels and I added a rail line that cuts through my solar panels. That was that was fun, adding in all of that line. Uh, and I added more stuff up here and, you know, random spots along the line. Uh, and in particular, I took and I went and I added these three things. These are all new. These three factories, in fact. Uh, I have all of the techs right now at Chemical Science. There are no, no more that I can take at Chemical Science. And for whatever reason, this is not a physics science, even though it needs physics sciences in order to, to ta take this science. We need physics apparatus. But anyway, mining is uh, better now. It's, it's better now because... Now I can box the ore with a few assembling machines at the end, and I can have from five red belts of ore mining, a single red belt of boxed ore out, a full red belt of boxed ore out. I'm not processing the full red belt yet. I'm processing about four out of the five at the moment. Not like it's needed, but hey. Uh, and there are n wonderful recipes now that not only, not not only can I box things for the extra compression on belts, but there are recipes that actually straight up use the boxed items. This is a big difference from things like Deadlock's compression. Uh, is that we have recipes here that straight up use the boxed goods and make boxed goods as the outputs. So this is taking the box sandstone in and making boxed sand out plus boxed stone out. And the stone can be converted from stone into gravel into mineral dust as boxed stone into boxed gravel into boxed mineral dust. It's glorious. And then the uh, sludge, you can sludgeify your boxed mineral dust into extra sludge. Same amount of sludge as you would otherwise get uh, on the output there. Uh, so that's that. And then this incomplete factory, which doesn't... All that's left is I just need to add the train uh, into this mix, is uh, bringing in sandstone boxes, or sand boxes, excuse me, taking in the sand boxes, and making them into uh, silicon ingots, because I will need some silicon ingots relatively soon. And it's good to have them for, say, a scaled-up lubricant build that I may be doing in the future. The other factory up here is graphite. And this is broken... Because my wastewater broke? Huh? Oh, because, yeah, I, uh... Because I'm dumb. 
because I am in fact dumb. And when I scaled, when I scaled this by doubling it, it, uh, it blocked the wastewater there by having this. Right. Let's take care of that first. It's nearby. And I have a train to get up there. I will, I will fix that and then this will operate again and this will give me my, uh, full red belt of graphite. This does make 30 graphite. This makes graphite out of a slightly different process than we've seen before. This makes it out of the methane because we have compressed gases that we can deal with now in order to make methane and we can me just get our graphite out of methane now and this is a better process than what we were doing previously i did do the comparison on uh, methane pyrolysis pressurized methane pyrolysis 41 megawatts for 30 out versus pressurized graphite out of carbon monoxide that's 57.9 megawatts granted i there's a couple things that, like this that i don't have that on i don't have that on but still 41 51 big difference there just just do the methane pyrolysis it's really easy to get the methane out of carbon dioxide and hydrogen as opposed to this which you have to get your carbon monoxide out of carbon dioxide and hydrogen and then you have to add more hydrogen to it up here this one you don't need that hydrogen in fact you get hydrogen back that loops back into the system saving you on your electrolysis energy expenditure back here that's that's what makes it uh better overall anyway let's get this thing fixed up here this uh this pipe from the graphite so i actually have graphite moving ahem <clears throat> yeah that uh that seems like a great idea let's have our let's have our graphite actually moving here amazed this actually functioned but anyway that should be the graphite moving again beginning to move again there it goes and it will be a red belt a full full compress to red belt once uh once we get to enough time pass there you go there's your red belt of graphite now i have gone through my base and changed any place where I was inputting sand to use these sandboxes. That's uh, one thing that I have done, uh, just so that we're clear on that. And then over here, this factory, inputting the graphite from the uh, factory. I did not originally. I did not originally intend to have a graphite factory, but. As it turns out, it's used in enough places that uh, the repetition was really getting to me. Uh, plonking down that build in each individual location. It was, it was starting to get on my nerves a bit that uh, sometimes it was vastly overproducing for the infrastructure that I was placing. Other times I would need a lot more than what that produces. It's like, okay, okay, okay. I need a tailored situation here where I can just make a lot and give it what it needs far better that way yeah, ultimately if i'm going to be making if i'm going to be overproducing anyway i may as well be doing it in the uh, efficient way and providing it everywhere that it's needed welcome to ech let's get started on well let's get finished with ech now that I have more stuff with me. Where did I leave off on this? So way back here with the ECH build. I still need to do this. Why? 
uh, to deal with brine or something to deal to deal with something in excess. Something was in excess. Brine was in excess. So dealing with the extra brine resulted in this. Now brine can have an outfall. It's just it would require a very 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 long pipeline to lead to an outfall on that. Uh, which is why I didn't really want to do it, uh, ultimately. Anyway, what are you? You are compressed carbon dioxide to compressed carbon monoxide, which is this guy right here. There you go. Build for me, my minions. Build! I need all of this stuff placed. Let's go. Let's go. Place all that pipe. I've got lots of pipe. I've brought tons of pipe with me. All right, you are done. Ta-da. Next. What? I need that compressed carbon dioxide, ideally. Oh, and I left this here. Good. I will take that. Uh, probably best to do these 16. Okay, that is 16. And then the air on those. The chimney and that is that bots do your thing plonk everything I'll see when they've plonked it okay the bots have placed all of the uh, buildings here uh, ideally, I want to have all of this have uh, efficiency. I likely don't have enough modules to cover all of this at the moment, but I'll try to remember as time goes on uh, to get that taken care of. Probably going to be better to max efficiency these distilleries rather than the uh, air filters. Okay. Eight. Priority. Compressors. There you go. Get that pipe logistics going. Go, my minions. Ah, good. Alignment. Ah, minions? Oh, they're done. Hey, any alignment here? No, of course not. Why would there be alignment here? There you go. Then hydrogen. And I need to bring this guy over. I'm going to have a wastewater to deal with too. Now that I'm thinking about that. Can I at least convert all the brine into wastewater? Somehow. Brine into salt and saline. Salt into seawater into waste. Through venting, okay. Waste into saline. All the saline into brine again. Okay, fine, whatever, I'll do the thing. I will do the thing. It will be, it will be glorious. All right, 16. That's quite a lot. That's half. Oh my. Well, let's get the, uh, let's get some more pipe. Oh, train. Cargo. 
I need more pipes. Why don't I only carry one more stack of regular pipe? Huh? I should have a couple of stacks of each. Whatever. We'll make do. Ta-da! And then a ya whole thing. And I'll see it when it's built. Okay, it is built. I need for this water to be the preferential input. So I will have a top-up valve here from the three buildings taking fresh water to convert to water right there I will need to deal with this wastewater ta-da okay that is that 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 so now all that's really left is that little bit of chlorine that I need up in here. Let quote unquote little bit. Why only one? Does something hold up? Why only one? It needs 283.1. What? Uh, here? Right. Because there's there's a math problem with Helmod. It doesn't like it. It does not like this whatsoever. Um. So I'm gonna be getting some of this brine electrolyzed. The brine from here electrolyzed into sodium hydroxide into caustic solution that I will spend here. The only caustic solution that I'll be using will be as the stuff that starts the system moving. Afterwards, it won't be needed at all because it makes more than enough than it actually needs. Uh, in fact, I'm actually probably I'm probably making a lot more water than I need. Now that I'm thinking about that, that 135.9 there is counted on the input, right? I'm pretty sure about that. This is only making four... What? Numbers? Wait. What? You're saying I need another 650.6? of water when I have a water here well Helmod is uh Helmod is a little borked I suppose these three will make a thousand and twenty water which uh 928 will do this. It will overproduce on the oxygen. That's fine. It will make as much hydrogen as I need. As compressed hydrogen. That's fine. But then it will need water for what now? This. Another, another bit of water for this. I'm okay with doing another bit of water for that. But for right now, I need to make sure that I actually get that 283.1, which can happen out of two of these. Now, all of this hydrogen is going to get voided into oblivion. The chlorine needs to end up all the way back here 
all the way back here. Hello. Oh, I already placed you. One of you. I need two of you. That's already done. All right. I'm I'm lying then about a lot of this. Just give me this over here. You're you're okay now. Water in on this line, but I have now determined that my water in on this line is going to be dedicated, not part of this. Uh, I will need to deal with the wastewater. No matter what, wastewater must be dealt with. Alright, that finishes this part then. I just need to deal with the excess brine as well as wastewater in general. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Let's get this up and pinned. Now, this is just dealing with the brine. This is not dealing with the wastewater. There is a Waste to saline? Or there is a... Huh? Oh, ingredients here. There is a waste to saline. Yeah. And sludge. There's a waste to saline and sludge. And a sludge into waste, etc, etc. It'll go back and forth, back and forth. Waste. Come on down. And brine. These two. We have waste and we have the excess brine. Let's deal with these, shall we? Alright. Ta da. Top one will be brine, bottom one will be waste water. There you go. Waste water. Alright. Starting with... What? What are we starting with here? We're going to be taking our brine. All of the brine. Uh, I need to make sure that I use the output brine from that step. So this needs to be behind a top up. And then... Uh, I think I'm okay with using extra chimneys here. That's going to produce steam. Uh, as well as... Uh, saline? Saline water. Uh, and a whole bunch of salt. For that matter. The salt. Will go into here. Now one of these can do 10. I guess I'm processing 6.82. Uh, okay. It needs a bunch of fresh water. And it makes saline? It makes seawater. Well, alright then. Uh, and then I'll be burning the seawater? Yes. I will be burning the seawater. Okay, go this way. And then... Plonk. That. There. Yeah, I guess. It gives me the... Stuff like that, that should be okay. 
that should be fine. All right. From here, that's that. That's that. Seawater. It apparently... Apparently... We'll need to deal with four... Of these. Max consumption... 1.8 megawatts. So, uh... How does this work? Is the wonderful question of the day. How many collectors am I going to need? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a uh, heat pipe connecting all those. Now, output is 195 kilowatts on these internal ones. Is this going to need... 1.8 megawatts equivalent for each one. Or shall we say for 3.64. Six and a half. 6.552. 6.552 megawatts. Uh, divide by 195. Excuse me. 6552 divided by 195 will be 33 of the internal ones making 195. At least, and then 210. So... Or better yet. Uh, does that work? I think I think that will work. Maybe. That uh that'll do it. Cuz you also have to think, you know, nighttime is a thing too. But remember, all of this is temporary. Like every every single bit of this it's all temporary. Uh, because once I can make water fill, I won't need this anymore because I could just outfall the brine and the wastewater. This is just me being a dummy, being being lazy. Uh, right, this outputs wastewater, does it not? So, I can't have that spacing. Hey, I need mirrored heat exchangers. Where's that, uh, heat exchanger mirror? I need the mirror. That's... That's unmirror. I want mirror. Okay. Mirror. Not mirrored. Mirrored. Well, wouldn't you know it, I needed to bring a, a heat pipe up to there anyway. Ta-da! Okay. Hello, wastewater. Good to see you again. All of that is wastewater. Uh, and you do not produce anything else. So that is just all of the seawater from brine taken into account. But there is this saline now as well that needs to be taken care of and unfortunately with the saline it's gonna give me brine back uh this one doesn't need as much stuff 
to take care of it. In fact, you know what? I think it would be better for my own sanity if I start going up here with you. And just offset this ever so slightly. Yeah, because seawater gives wastewater, freshwater gives wastewater, water just gives steam. Uh, but I need to do saline. This is saline. Uh, and this is brine. There you go. And the brine will just make more saline, etc., etc., uh, as it goes around and around and around we go. Connect all of that. Uh, mirrored. I need more mirrors. Oh, I only need two. There you go. Apparently, I only need two. We shall see, because uh, wastewater becomes saline, and I'm going to have a whole bunch more wastewater, so you know what? Yeah, if wastewater becomes saline, I'm just gonna copy that and double it. This might require more of this as well. Or I can go in here, I can look at you. Why do you say zero? You clearly produce at least 92.52. Like, what? O okay. At 9... 925.2 plus 135.9 is 1,061. Okay, water. From fresh water... 1,061.1 will produce 124.9 wastewater. 124.9. So now if I can find where we just were on the ECH... Why does you why do you now say caustic? Your ECH. Your your ECH. Anyway. You are going to have an additional input of what the hell did I just say? 124.9. Okay. Now we know a lot better the actual numbers here. So it's not actually four, it's going to be six. I'm going to need to cut this completely so that uh, I can add two more here. Alright. That is two more of those. Uh, and then it's going to be five of these. Uh, I'm just going to do six because that's going to be convenient for me. Alright. You are sailing... Eh, whatever. Um, there. There you go. Pipe, 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 pipes all over the place. Heat pipes all over the place. And then copy you and paste 
Now, I only have a hundred of these. So, uh... That's gonna need to be enough. It had better be enough. Plonk all of those. Thanks. Oh, no, I don't have a hundred of these. I have over 500 of these. I think... I think... I have enough... For this build. I don't know about you. But I... I think there's enough. There. Just big green blob of doom on the map. And of course, get rid of all the steam ever. And then that just leaves the one building getting rid of you. And the one building converting you. You also need fresh water. How much fresh water? 97.13. That is one well. You make more saline. Saline being here. Uh, waste being here. Um, that's that. That's, that, that, that's it. That's, uh, it's about it. Waste. That's, uh, that's it, right? I think, uh, I think that's about it. I hope that's about it. I hope that will work for me, at least, to maintain the intended output of all of the stuff that I need. Uh, I am, in fact, going to use my substations to provide as much power as I can throughout the entirety of the build as everything gets going here. Yes, allow me to power all of these distilleries. Go up here. This line looks good. Over here, you. Uh, I did not connect this or the hydrogen, did I? Nope. Hydrogen has been connected. I have not connected the oxygen either. Uh... Here, here, and then uh, overflow, well, auxiliary, voiding the rest. Uh, okay, you take in the compressed methane from that, alright, then all of you need power. All of you need power. And all of you need power. Okay. Add hydrochloric or hydrogen chloride, excuse me. Hydrogen chloride has been added. That's given that stuff. Why no stuffs? Because I haven't brought over the compressed carbon monoxide and compressed hydrogen. Okay. Compressed hydrogen. That's 
the carbon monoxide. Oh, this is fun. Uh, so I'm sort of out of space here. I need to go, like, down here. Yeah, there you go. Now you're moving. That makes this move. That's making... When this moves, this will ideally begin to move. Oh, did I? Oh, wait, what? Why did I? Oh, oh God. Um, the what? H how dumb of me. How did I not see this? There you go. Three need to be active there. This is just dealing with this water output here without having to do shenanigans with the water. Okay. Now you've got the propene, which is what I need. All I needed was the propene out of all of that. All of the benzene can get destroyed, which needs oxygen. As oxygen. Which I am not yet providing. Is there a... Uh, Uncompress for oxygen. There's there's no uncompressing, is there? You just avoid. Hey, do I happen to have the uh compressed? No. Of course not. Of course I do not. Oh, and of course I didn't actually hook up the the propene either. What the There's your propene. There's your ECH. ECH is moving. Uh, I need, like, regular oxygen. Well, this would produce regular oxygen with enough water. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna say, hey. Regular, please. You're gonna make me... Oxygen. I need more pipe. I need more pipes. I need two pipes. And I don't have any left. Uh, do I have... No. No, I don't. Of course I don't have any plastic. I don't have any steel. I can make regular pipes. That's gonna have to be fine. It'll just work. There you go. You're functional. That should be blocked by there being too much ECH. Which is... The good sign? A good sign? The, uh, the throughput is really low on this, just so as we're clear on that. Now, what has happened here? I need to vent this hydrogen. That will 
take care of brine. It will definitely vastly overproduce on the amount of other stuffs, the uh, sodium hydroxide, and on the chlorine. Granted, it'll it'll make plenty of chlorine. It won't really need this as much, which is why this is behind the top-up valve. In fact, this will fill to nothing or fill to full. And then there'll be there'll be brine that needs to be dealt with. Speaking of, the brine and the waste should be getting dealt with. All the way down here, I see I see spurts of the stuff, so it uh I guess it's working. Our temperature is above 165, so they're working on these. Question is, is it enough to last the night? I don't know. Do I think I particularly care at this point? Uh, nah. Nah. Nah, I think we're... We're fully functional in the ECH build at this moment in time. So, thank God, uh, I now have ECH... Which, uh, yeah, glycerol and epoxy, which that BPA I think is also going to be ahem, fun, fun to get into, quote unquote, fun for BPA. Yeah, fu fun, P better ish plastic. ABS, plastic, and epoxy. Epoxy is going to be needed for the new pipes with fiberglass and for new lots of things. New lots of things with the, uh, with the new pipes. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's gonna be a mission. And then glycerol, of course, we need for our explosives. Glorious explosives. Now, the glycerol... Because it's not really used in too much stuff yet. Yet. We're going to do this in the mall. Bringing in ECH and hydrochloric. I already am, bring I am already bringing in the sodium hydroxide. That will make the glycerol. That'll be the last thing I really need. Because, well, that's... That, that's trivial. I have the ammonia. I can make that at the mall. That will be explosives as the last ingredient, and that's going to be water fill. We will do this in the next video. As I place this stuff down here and set up this train station, I would like to thank you all for watching. This has been a talk you show about. If you have enjoyed today's video, please be sure to do all of the social and engagement stuff down below. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed, and hit the notification bell. Consider becoming a member of the channel by hitting that great big blue join button and supporting on Patreon at patreon.com slash otakushowboat if you're so inclined and able. I will be back when I am back, and I will see you all on the next one. Mm -hmm.